Hey y'all, it's Amanda, the Tap Mom in the Bag Brigade. Welcome back to Mornings with Jesus, 365 daily devotionals. First we start with our Bible verse and then we'll read our inspirational story. God, ha God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Philippians 2, 9. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh, rather serve one another humbly in love. Galatians 5.13 Now is our story. Early in my spiritual journey, when something bad happened, I'd ask why God hadn't prevented it or why he had allowed it. I hear the same refrain from others when they are global catastrophes or smaller personal tragedies. But God isn't a, cos a cosmic puppeteer moving people around in some galactic drama. The truth is, we all have free will. Free will means that as I make good choices and bad choices, I'm subject to the natural consequences of those choices. The earth in which we live is no longer the paradise God designed. After the fall, which was the direct result of Adam and Eve's free will, our world became broken a broken place where bad stuff could happen. With Jesus' power within me, I can minimize the chance of harm harming anyone by choosing to serve others humbly with love heeding paul's command in the ver in this verse in galatians by his example jesus encourages me to use my freedom to help make the world a better place isabella cam i can't pronounce her last name faith step if you find yourself tempted to indulge the flesh today, choose instead to serve someone else with humanity, humility and with love. So this answers the age-old question. If God so loved us, why does he let bad stuff happen? God doesn't let bad stuff happen. People let bad stuff happen because people have free will to let bad stuff happen so that that i, I think that's a really good one because it 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 answers that age-old question you know if god loves us why does he let stuff like that happen he doesn't let that stuff happen we let that stuff happen as as a society as a human as a human culture uh you know, as human beings, we let each other down. You know, uh, it, it, it's it's not something God did or didn't do. Uh, you know, it, it goes back way before time that you know <laughs> that that's that answers a lot of questions. I think is to why God doesn't prevent things or why he, you know, there are too many moving parts to catastrophes. There are too many moving parts and you can't, and he gave us free will. So when you give every living thing free will, you can't expect anyone. I don't know. This that that that's that's a lot of a lot of things to think about at one time. A lot of, lots of thought that evokes a lot of thought in my mind. It it makes me think too much. <laughs> but it ans it answers the question, but then it brings up so many more questions. So, you know, it just what do y'all think about that? You know, does that answer any question that y'all ever had? Or that y'all have been asked, you know, 
You know, why does God let that happen? God doesn't let that happen. People make that happen. So, free will makes that happen. So, that that makes sense. But at the same time, there's so many other questions that pop up because of that. Because of why that makes sense. So, I don't know. What do y'all think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that one. Anyway, I guess I'll uh, see y'all later. Uh, thank, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.